All right, so on to question three. A company uses multiple tasks to make a product. The times needed in minutes to complete each task and the order of completion are shown in the following network diagram. The company uses a critical path analysis to identify the minimum completion time to make the product. Using the network diagram above, fill in the four blank cells, so they'll be these four, uh, to complete the precedence table below. So time for F, time for F is five. Time for M, time for M is eight. What is a prerequisite to F? Prerequisite to F is B. Um, prerequisite to M, prerequisite to M is F and H. Now, yes, these two are also prerequisites, but you're wasting time if you're filling that in. Which task is the only one that must be on the critical path? Well, that has to be task N, because task N has to be done to complete it. And it hasn't got any other alternative pathway. So this will just be task N. Uh, using the information on the network diagram below, explain why task G will not be on the critical path. All right, so that's there and that's there. So four plus one will be five. 2 plus 5 will be 7, so that's shorter than that. So this one is more critical than that. And that's basically what you're explaining. So uh, B, F, uh, take 7, what's my units here? Minutes. So mins, uh, total. And G, H, take... Five mins total. Now you do have to explain why that's important. Just writing that's not enough. So, but um, both paths are prerequisites to this task here. So task M prerequisites. Uh, to task M, um, therefore task G uh, must not be uh, on the critical path. Okay, so using the following diagram, complete the forward and backward scan. Now during the forward scan, you're basically just following these pathways and uh, using the highest number each time. So that'll be four, that'll be two, that'll be four. Uh, then we will have uh, four plus two is six. So that one's nice and easy. Uh, two, five is seven. So that'll be seven there, because that's five. Uh, seven or 10, so that'll have to be 10. 6, 7 is 13, 14, so that'll be a 14. Uh, 14, 3 is 17. 8 and 7 is 15. 17, 2 is 19. And then uh, 19 and 4 is 23. Now, on the way back, you've got to do the reverse, but you're taking the smallest number each time. So 23 take 4 will be 19. 19 take 2 will be 17. 17 take 3 will be... Uh, 14, uh, 14 take 4 will be 10, and then that'll be 10 going this way, 19 take 8 will be 11, so I'll be looking for the 10 value just in here, uh, 14 take 7 will be 7, 10 take 6 will be uh, 4, 7 take 2 will be 5, so it'll be the 4 there, uh, 10 take 5 will be 5, 10 take one will be nine, and then that'll be zero. Yep. So, that's the forward and backward scan. State the critical path and minimum completion time to make the um, product. Let's see if I've got a highlighter handy. I do. So when doing this, I like using a highlighter just to highlight the different path. So you can see here the critical path must follow there, there, uh, there, 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 and there. So the critical path is going to be task A to task E 
to task J, to task K, to task L, to task N, like that. And then the minimum completion time, do not forget both of these. So minimum completion time. It's basically just adding them all up. Uh, so four, oh, hang on, minimum completion time is 23. We've already done the addition there. Uh, 23, please go back when member doing this, always use the units that's provided. So it's 23 minutes here. So it's 23 mins. Really important to include the right unit, so you're not just assuming that it's minutes, days, whatever that you're wanting to assume it to be. With reference to the network diagram above, explain the purpose of the dummy link shown as the dotted line. Now, you want to be fairly specific here. Um, the purpose of the dummy link is obviously to reflect a uh, connection that uh, task J has a prerequisite of task F and H. So and as well as task M. So I'm going to say both task M or tasks M and J have a prerequisite of tasks uh, F and H, F and H but only task J um, has, um, no, also has, I might just say also, also has a prerequisite of task E. The dummy link, dummy link, um, uh, how would I say this? The dummy link uh, shows uh, has zero, uh, zero uh, minutes and shows this shows the uh this i might just say shows this basically two marks that i can see would be for identifying very specifically that both of them do have that prerequisite of these two but task m can be started with only those two completed where task j also needs task e completed that's really where the marks are coming from all right now kurt a trainee employee takes on average four minutes longer than other employees to complete any task. State one of the tasks Kurt could be given that would not increase the minimum completion time. Use figures from the network diagram on page eight to justify your answer. So really what we're looking for here is somewhere that has a slack time of four minutes. That's really what we're looking for. Anywhere that you can find that, we've got it. I can see the easiest one's probably here. Um, you can see that we could delay this by five minutes and there'll be no, um, increase to this uh, so the slack time uh, let's give him task G so uh, Kurt you only have to identify one there is probably more than one uh, could do task uh, G without um, increasing the minimum completion time as there is five mins it's mins of slack time for this task. You could give him task H as well, for example. So there's more than one without it delaying the overall task. So as long as you can justify it and you've, you're really looking for a, um, that they're probably looking for your actual calculation of slack time there and identifying that slack time.